Hey everybody, I'm Lance Koike. Today I want to give you just the dirty inside look of training. So yesterday we talked about linear periodization and that is I continuously progress and overload my body and I keep challenging myself more and more and more and more and I get better by the end of stuff. Okay, now that's a really simple way to look at it and I think that's why it works so well, but what does linear progress really look like? So we, we talked previously in, in our video yesterday about linear periodization. If I'm going to be successful with it, I need to be on point all the time. I need to not skip my training sessions. I need to rest really well, all sorts of stuff. Now, what happens if that doesn't happen? What happens if, you know, maybe my primary goal, I have a, a former client I'm thinking of, so what if my primary goal is to not hurt and to kind of train a little bit? Well, if everything's going well in your life and you're like, hey, I just got a promotion. Uh, my girlfriend is awesome. We just got a dog together. It's great. Then you can probably keep focusing on training and push really hard in training and you're going to see your abilities climb upward. But what happens when that girlfriend dumps you or you dump that girlfriend and you don't really want to or you get sick or, you know, there's a shortage here here. Um, you live in California and you need to turn your power out at night and it really messes up your uh, you need to turn your power out for weeks so that your lawn and house don't catch on fire. And that's really messed with your your schedule. Or maybe you have a big project at work and something went really wrong and the government is suing you or whatever. OK, well, when that stuff comes into play, you're usually not going to keep increasing your training. Your your abilities do not continuously increase. Maybe your pain comes back. Now, what we call this is the dip as so popularized by Seth Godin. Now he talks about it from project perspective. So if I'm working on something and it's, you know, maybe it's going really well and then we hit some sort of snafu and now I'm like, oh, I don't know if this is the right idea. Sometimes you can quit and it's a really good idea. With your physical fitness, you probably shouldn't just quit because it generally makes things a lot worse. So in that dip, you need to realize that two years ago or however long ago you started training, you were way down here. OK, and so when you look at you zoom in on this one little spot that you're at right now, the graph looks like, oh, man, I am just plummeting to the earth. But when you zoom out and you look at the entire graph, you'll see that you've actually made a lot of progress over time and you're just in this one little insignificant dip. So the goal here is to recognize that, realize that and work through it. OK, sometimes things are just not ideal. There's usually some sort of explanation. Not every time do we know what that explanation is, but if you just pay attention to those things, then you can you can look at your training real really realistically. And I, I mention this because people get really frustrated and they stop being consistent with their training because they think they're not making any progress. And that's just not true. What they're doing is they're fighting off all of the other bad stuff that's happening. That dip would probably be a lot lower. You'd probably be in a lot more pain if you weren't working out and you weren't doing those other things that you have you know, been doing for the last year and no work for you. OK, so keep that in mind when you're going through your training dip, that linear progress isn't actually linear. If you zoom too close, zoom too far in, you'll see those dips and you'll think you're not doing anything. But if you take a big step backward and you say, OK, a year ago, I was actually deadlifting 40 pounds less than I am right now. And I was in a lot of pain and now I'm stronger and in less pain. So I am objectively better. If you remind yourself that there will be hope for the future.